wake up in the morning and I got my beach brewing. Beach brewing. Need my beach brewing. Hashtag beats for brewing. Yo, what's good? My name is Shogun. This is my co-host Lazy. Yo. This is Beats for Brewing, and tonight we're with Blaze. Hey, yay. We're gonna be talking about beat making, videography, photo shoots, ciphers, spit a bar. We're gonna be talking about all that. He does a lot of stuff, guys. We're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff tonight. I'm wood. Definitely action packed. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. So how you doing tonight, man? Good, man. Just uh, just got off work, fellas. Just. Stop Always. by real quick. Man, that's a lot of grinding <coughs> today then. Yeah, <laughs> man, uh, I work a nine to five on top of everything else, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, gotta have that. Yeah, it's just cool. Definitely. So, so you have, you make, you make beats? Yeah, man, uh, <clears throat> I uh, I started making beats because I couldn't afford it from other people. That's the only yeah. reason, dog. Mm -hmm. I couldn't afford it and uh, I didn't even know how to use a computer, so I learned on a beat machine. Back in the day, everybody makes beats on Fruity Loops now and whatnot. Yeah. I learned on the NPC, dog, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So uh, I I, uh, I feel like I learned the fundamentals like like yeah. I should, you know what I mean? Well, that that taught me the, the fundamentals and whatnot. Hell yeah. Definitely. That's dope. So how long have you been making beats for? Man, since I was a youngster, man, just uh, pretty much my whole career, man, up 10 plus years. Um, just, uh, it's funny too, because... <clears throat> I only use uh, like one software on my iPad or uh, nowadays I'm all digital. Everything's all iPad now so um, I make most of my shit on iPads now and um, when I get on the computer it's usually Reason. That's usually what I use, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's pretty dope. And what got you into making beats? Have you always wanted to do that? Or? Well, I've always had an ear for music and um, I just couldn't find beats. Uh, that that were my style. Yeah. Everybody was making trap beats or yeah. like just just stuff that wasn't my style. So I figured, well, let me try it. You know what I mean? And and um, I, I take pride in the fact that I don't use samples. I, everything I make is from scratch. I'm hoping to one day be sampled. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Sample my beat. Right. You know what I mean? So that, that's what I'm trying to do is make something dope like that. Oh, definitely be cool. Hell yeah. Do you like to mess around with other genres or just uh, hip hop mainly? Oh, uh, no, nah, man. Um, I, I really dig in uh, like rock. Like, I would love to, like, do something with guitars, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, <clears throat> but also, um, um, just like, uh, like classical music too. Like I like it all. Like I like Beethoven. Like people trip out. Like <laughs> I like some dude named Yanni. Classical music shit. Like that's dope. You know what I mean? And and, and but then I also like Dr. Dre and, and DJ Quick. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Those are my. Those are like the dudes I looked up to. So a lot of my sounds, try I try to mimic them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like that's all we know. You know what I mean? So sure. okay. Who would you say are like some of your favorite producers? Like can you do you have like a top five? Producers? A top five? Um. Um, I, I would say uh, DJ Quick is my number one because I, I know people would think maybe Dre I would say that but Dre is like my top three only because he's a producer like he, yeah. he hires like a music like a, a, a guitarist he hires this that and the other and he puts it all together yeah. whereas uh, DJ Quick that fool sits there and he plays the yeah. instrument yeah. himself yeah. you know what I mean so uh, I, I look up to DJ Quick quite a bit so I'd say he's my top one um, but then uh, you know Dre, um, I, and then I, I like the I like uh, like Cosmo with Burner. Yeah, that's dope. Homie, homie's been murdering yeah. it with all his beats. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I mean like just uh, like old school cats, dog like um, Timberland. Like yeah, I mean homie, yeah, homie has like they don't really talk about too much no more. But he has like a lot of hits. Dog, he's put yeah. out some of the biggest records and that yeah, we'll like, ever listen some to. Some people might not even know it's him, but like. You'll hear a record and that would be produced by Timbaland and you won't even know. Yeah, so I'm saying, dog. So uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I, I'd say, uh, I'd say him. He's definitely in there. As far as for the last one goes, um, I don't know, man. Um, I, I feel like uh, um, somebody like um, DJ Clue and I. What am I saying? Uh, who just DJ Premier? He DJ makes Premier. dope beats, dog. Or Alchemist. Alchemist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like those type of beats. I like Alchemist. I, 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 I know they're beats. they're. Uh, they're very sample driven, so it's it's different from what I'm used to. Yeah. But yeah, they make some dope shit though, you know what I mean? Yeah. I used to listen to like a lot of underground music that Alchemist would do. Oh yeah, like, yeah, no doubt. Tyler the Creator and like oh, yeah. Q. And, and see I'm all old school with that, you know what I mean? I, I haven't heard no most of that shit, you know what I mean? Uh, I I have heard all his mob deep stuff though. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I heard all that. I don't really listen to new music just because I don't wanna copy it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean at all? And and if I make something 
um, close to what I used to listen to, and somebody says it sounds like that, I, I take it more as a compliment. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? like, so, yeah, that's what it was. You know what I mean? So I, to be, especially because yeah. nobody really, you know, makes beats like that out of here. Yeah. Or, or uh, everybody's on that trap shit, which is cool with the high. Yeah. I'm cool with all that. I don't need all that. Like, you know what I mean? It's cool, but I don't need all that. Yeah, we've definitely had a lot of different styles and beat makers and stuff come in here, and every approach is definitely unique. So almost no. every single one has a different like. Yeah. I wouldn't say different genre, but like almost a different and style. And yeah, and yeah. See, my style is is almost uh just uh go at it just because uh, I was never formally trained. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, if if yeah, before. Self-taught. Before YouTube, I was just completely self-taught. Like, I would ask the homies, what does this do? And press it, and okay, cool, that, <laughs> that does that. <laughs> now, YouTube is, like I said, my best friend. Dog. If I don't know something, I hit up YouTube, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, but yeah, for the most part, um, I I, I, uh, <clears throat> I don't do beats like other people. These people, um, they spend hours EQing them and this, that, and the other. I just do what sounds good and what sounds good in my car, and if it bangs, then Yo, just yeah. put that yeah, out, you know what I mean? Like, for sure. So, yeah, um, I would, I mean, I wish I was more professional with it, I guess, but I think I'd do all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's okay. what's up, though. That's like, that would be like a part of your style, though, too. Like, it's like rawness. Yeah. Like I, I make it sound, uh, I, you know, I'll take a, a regular sound in the kit, um, I'll tune it a little bit so it sounds like mine's, and let's go. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I could make a, a beat pretty quick. Um, but I don't like being rushed either. I'd yeah. rather just uh, make a beat when uh, when it feels like right, you know what I mean? It's yeah. almost like songwriting, you gotta be in that mood. Like, yeah, for real, for real. Like and sometimes I'll make a beat, and within the first like 30 seconds, I already got a hook going, cause it's right. just like, yeah. it was meant to be, man. So I, I like that, man, hell yeah. Uh, beat making is, uh, is, uh, is, is my medicine. Yeah. Like, I, it, I, I could put out an album of just beats, and I'd be completely happy. Just a lot of people do that. They put yeah. out like a, a beat album. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. I just, um, I don't do it because if I'm going to put out a beat album, I want it to stay as beats. Yeah. I don't want to hear other people rapping on it. Yeah. So yeah. that's the only reason why I haven't done it. I know that's kind of selfish or whatever, but I don't know. I just, I want to do a beat album, but I don't want people rapping on it. So let me ask you this. Have you ever thought about doing an album and picking the artist that you would like to rap on it and make a compilation tape? Um, but it would be like your I, album? I thought about that. It's like something how DJ Khaled would do? No, or? no, no. I, I thought about that 100% because um, my whole thing is um, I started my ciphers um, and I started making the beats too so that I can rap with people so they can see that, yo, this fool got, some, he's got bars and he makes beats, you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, and I wanted to see what they sounded like on my beats. So then I got to the point where I was like, well, well, let me just give them uh, a whole song and then um, I'll put them all together. And then it just got to, the, I started it, but uh, everybody here doesn't have the same drive as me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it it took, it got to the point where I was like asking people like, yo, like you almost done with that? like, And they're pretty much doing me a favor. You know what I mean? So, cause I'm not paying anybody, you know what I yeah. mean? So um, it became too much of a hassle. So I didn't, but I would love to do it. But uh, that's why the ciphers took off. Uh, but then that's also why the ciphers slowed down. Cause the same thing, I would have to hit up people like, "Yo, yeah, you guys down? Like this yeah. is free, dog. Like yeah. let's, yeah. Go let's knock yeah. this out. You know what I mean? So that'd be dope. Um, I would think that'd be better than me doing a collaboration. Uh, like I, I like submitting songs to compilation albums. But yeah, I want to do a whole album. That would be dope. I just I gotta find the right people. I guess. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? like, but yeah, that'd be dope. So we're speaking about how you make beats and also you write to those beats too. Like, mm -hmm. did you start out beat making first or did you start like rapping? No, first? I started rapping on me like um, um, I was in LA in the in the height of the gang era. You know what I mean? And that's where you're from originally. I'm born and raised, and and uh, um, I I needed a way out. I was smart enough that I knew that I needed a way out, and there were homies that were actually in the studio. So I was like, yeah, I can, I can kind of do this, you know what I mean? So I started rapping, and then it just got to the point where, like, everybody else stopped, and I kept going, you know what I mean? And then it was like, yo, well, YouTube wasn't really, like, popping like that where you can get videos back when I started. Yeah. So I was just like, well, where am I going to get these beats from? So I started with, um, I would buy singles, and they would have the instrumentals on the B-side or whatever, 
and I would rap on that shit. But then I knew that I couldn't really ever make money. It was just yeah. get props off of it or whatever. So then uh, I couldn't afford beats. So I was just like, well, my homie was selling a beat machine. And I was like, well, let's just try it. You know what I mean? Right. And, yeah. and I... I liked it, dog. Like I didn't. I never. I, I. I regret not taking music in high school. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was like, damn. I would have been a little bit more far ahead. But uh, I liked it a lot. I got hit by the beat bug, and now like, it's just like. Would you say that that's your main passion now above nah, like songwriting? Or um, the thing is, my my raps they kind of took a back seat. But like, I feel like you. I mean, you can express yourself. You know as. The best you can express yourself is like with some words, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, um, my passion right now is just is is just uh, leaving a legacy, I guess. I, I'm I'm very passionate about leaving my legacy. So if that means beats, cool. If that means rapping, cool. If that means videos, cool. Um, if that means my water company, cool. Like I'm just I'm just trying to stay moving, dog. And, yeah. and, uh, and it, it sucks too because. Uh, I want time to make beats, and um, I, I can't find it right now. But luckily, this has um, rejuvenated my 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 hunger. Like I, w I wanted to knock out some beats for this, but I couldn't. I got some that you guys could still peep out, but I wanted some fresh shit. Yeah. So by the time this drops, I'll have some fresh beats so that uh, we can put up. Um, Cause yeah, my style is different from everybody that comes here. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean and. Um, People try for that West Coast, like they try to mimic it, but it just comes out of me like naturally. So yeah. I, I like it, dog. Uh, you know, I mean, that's not to knock anybody else or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like everybody else has their style. I got my, I, I, yo, I got my West Coast yeah, style. It's, it's that West Coast Southwest style. It's just because I'm, you know, I, I'm from Albuquerque, like. Yeah. I mean, I'm born and raised in Cali, but yeah, in Albuquerque was when I first sold my first beat, um, and. Uh, I got that's and like, I was really bit by the beat bug like oh shit like I've made more money off beats than I have rapping but then I made more money off of videos than I have music or anything yeah. else yeah you know what I mean videos is is is, is where my heart is right now just because uh, I know that in the long run videos and even beats because I put my beats on my videos um, that production side of it I could be 70 years old and still be able to film. Or provide music for videos and i don't even have to be on the camera and i'll still yeah. get paid you know what i mean so i'm thinking about the future now and i want to learn photography and music production as best as i can so that i can do like movie scores or even if it's a cartoon I go, Fuck, you know what i mean like, whatever it is but like yo they're gonna play that cartoon over and over let me get paid off of that you know what i mean yep. like so yeah um, and that's why I think I have an advantage because uh, I shoot all these videos and other people are going to YouTube to steal the music and then they put it on their videos but they can't get that monetized. Yeah. <clears throat> I put my own music and so then I'm uh, if my video goes viral, I'm going to hit off the video and I'm going to hit off the beat too. Because I have all my music that I put out, I don't put out unless it's registered. Yeah. Because why, why put your heart, time and you know like dedication into it yeah. and then just put it out for free? I mean, they're still typing place for free, but not my beats. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like sure. let's make some money off of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool. Give some give away free shit here, but like, I mean, we're doing this to make a living. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, sure, so, for sure. You, and uh, you can spend a little bit of money up front, but respect the hustle out here. Yeah, yeah. dog. Um, you got to spend some money to make money, dog. Definitely. So you make your own beats. You write the songs. You do video. I. I was looking on Facebook today, I understand you just released a product called Resin Defender. Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little about that. That's dope. Yeah, me and my boy Dome, um, uh, like I'm a hustler, man, so um, this dude, like, uh, he he saw a lane that needed to be filled and um, he came up with a product that actually works and, and uh, it actually helps and um, he's very behind the scene. And I'm very in front of it, so uh, it was like a match made in heaven. Like I'm the face of the business, yeah. and he's like the the smarts, if you will, I guess. Yeah. He, I don't, I ain't scientific like that. <laughs> yeah. I I so I, 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 yo, I know what's in it, but I don't know how he came to making it like right. that. So yeah. that's that's cool, dog. Like awesome. I know it works. So I'm willing to put my name behind it. So we're 50 50 partners. Um, you know what I mean? But also not just that. Like I've included everything. Like uh, G Life is now 
Uh, it, it's called HSM, so uh, it's Havoc Smoking Merchandise, but G Life as well. And essentially, uh, it's all one company now. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I, we can't be a uh, like separate shit. Everything has to be together. Yeah. So G Life is now a part of uh, HSM, which is sells resin defender resin defender is actually doing pretty good man it's in uh like three different smoke shops right now Sweet. we've already been out a couple of months so it's pretty dope Take it up, go get you some resin defender. yeah for real for <laughs> real no doubt appreciate that for sure uh so g life tv tell us a little about that man uh g life tv came about because um i'm from cali and i'm from a different era where it's like you show love to get love yeah, yeah. you know what i mean and i don't I don't have a hating bone in my body, especially on somebody who's coming from the same, you know, gutter as me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, why am I gonna push you to the side to get ahead? Let's go together. If yo, if you go before me, yo, don't forget about me. You know what I mean? So, um, like I said, the music wasn't really doing all that great. So I was like, I was at a point where I was all, you know what? Forget this music. Um, I I want to make sure that if I'm not the most talented person here. Well then let me help find that person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I would just like I we have an ability to to showcase talent that's out here that nobody else wants to really showcase. Yeah. So we started doing interviews. That's how G Life TV came about. G Life's always been um that's what I rep because G Life is a is an acronym. It stands for gifted, lucrative, intelligent, fearless, entrepreneur. It's something that any person can represent because it's something empower, uh, empowering for any person. Yeah. Anybody wants to be gifted. Everybody wants to be lucrative, make money, you know what I mean? Everybody wants to feel they're intelligent. I know you want to feel like you're fearless, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh -huh. And so I know I'm an entrepreneur because I'll, I'll sell an Eskimo a glass of ice, you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> Hell yeah. um, G and I'm a big Tupac fan. So you know what I mean? So I, I always wanted an acronym like he had one. So I came up with G-Life. But um, G-Life TV was just like, yo, Let's showcase the crazy stuff we do, but at the same time, let's show love to the city. Let's show love and hopefully they show love back. That's dope yeah. because nowadays there's not a lot of people that are showing each other love out here. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's why I like this. That's the only reason why I agreed to this because this is simple, uh, pretty much like what we started off doing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So um, it, it, that's what it was all about. We, we weren't just about rappers. Our, our first interview was like edits, you know what I mean? A videographer that everybody yeah. looks up to and like, um, it was just all about showing love to the city and like i said I, I i don't claim to be the best or whatever but like yo if i have uh the the ability to help you get your shine on let's do it yeah and that just means y'all i mean if you win i win like you know what i'm saying like i and i'm always gonna be like that like let, let's let's all make it you know what i mean and then, there's no reason to hate on each other like really? we do yeah. And I'm not trying to wait till somebody dies to show love. Like I'm trying to show love now. Yeah. You know what I'm definitely. saying? Like so, I find people if I feel you're hot. Yo, let me show you some love. You know what I mean? Sure. Let's do a video. And all the uh, ever spit of bars I've done, every single one of them has been free. Only thing I ever asked for, even the ciphers, was just pay my gas. You know what I mean, if I gotta drive fucking to Santa Fe, yo, just pay my gas, and I'll yeah. go. Just, I'll go film you. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I seen like, the homie Gums the other day. That shit was pretty dope. Yeah, I yeah, seen the homie too. Like and then. <clears throat> I really wasn't gonna even do that one because um, I was actually gonna wait till the beginning of the year to start the Ever Split of Bar. Cause this year was supposed to be my year. I was supposed to put out my album. I have all my beats ready. I was ready to go. But then I got hired by a, a couple like um, big deals, you know what I mean? Like, so I had to put my shit to the side and make some paper, yeah, dog. You know what yeah, I mean? I gotta wait, stack up real quick. <laughs> and so uh, that's why the other day it was pretty cool that even though I haven't made any beats recently, Somebody still heard my old ones and bought them, you know what I mean? So I yeah. thought that was dope as shit, so. <clears throat> but yeah, G-Life TV is just, just, um, just documenting life, dog, you know what I mean? And at the same time, I got a little following, so yo, let's show some love to everybody else too, if we can, you know? Uh, yeah. right. It almost reminds me of like, um, do you watch like a lot of like YouTube, like podcasts and That's stuff? That's all or? I do is watch YouTube. Me too, bro, I watch interviews yeah. and Yeah, stuff all YouTube is, is, like, is life for me it reminds right? me of uh you know what cold band and lyrical lemonade is oh yeah yeah it reminds me of that almost or yeah. like um with no jumper yeah where he's breaking off and he's doing like his little deal with the he has his, like his own weed brand now and yeah stuff. he's got everything yeah he's got his um he, he even does his podcast where he'll play your song for a hundred bucks yeah, yeah. You know we're I mean? gonna send him some of our songs there you go you know what i mean all, all of that's good promo dog you know what i mean and like it's not paying for views no like you, 
everybody pays for spots you know what i mean so if you yeah. got to pay for promo pay for promo dog yeah you know uh you know fake views on, on youtube is a different thing yeah but that's like, whack yeah you know what i mean but like you know promotions pay for that shit yeah, dog. yeah, yeah shit yeah. out there you know what i mean but um yeah dog and like uh g life tv's it's just it's growing it's growing and uh um i started in the hip-hop scene but now it's gone over to the to the cannabis side just because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm such a, a big connoisseur, I'm so merging them both, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's dope. Yeah. Uh, I did a lot of free stuff for hip hop, so I'm doing a lot of free stuff for the cannabis scene, and a lot of that content's gonna be dropping soon. Yeah. Pretty dope, and then, man, like I said, I'm gonna get back to the beats too, man. Yeah. Like, I need to get these out. I wanna, I wanna come drop off some of my new ones, because I feel like uh, those ones will suck quicker. Right. Oh yeah, yeah and I gotta get back to it. Yeah, so I appreciate you guys for uh, motivating me yeah, to get back no into problem, it. No problem. Oh, yeah, right. If you're just tuning in, you're here with hashtag Beats for Brewing. What it is is you can step into the studio, Southern Royal 2 Studio on 1915 Lenal Boulevard. You can get yourself a, a beat. You can lease a beat for as low as $25, $35. Take it home. Get it done. Well, they all, all the different producers have different prices and stuff, so yeah. you have to check with the beat pool list with different producers have different prices but wait it could go as low as thirty five dollars <laughs> <laughs> yeah. come get you a beat no doubt so, so also, i understand you have some maybe some stuff you wanted to show today. yeah we could be we could be yeah, about a couple beats i'm down with it check that out real quick yeah, yeah. Let's get it. damn this beat's pretty old here like i said this beat was made in 2015 dog but i'm still using it on the album these other ones this was made in 2016 this one was made last year and i always put my beats per minute on the end I usually like a 90s because that's a, that's like a nice mellow vibe, dog. You know what I mean? Um, it's all from scratch right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's real artistry, I make, yo, I make that laid back smoker music. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? All that blood pressure. Yeah. All my stuff is like that, just laid back, chilled out. I got hype stuff too though, and uh, I've been on a lot of hype stuff, but my stuff, like, I, I want to be Albuquerque's burner. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for, just because I smoke a lot of weed and, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm the perfect person. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a more upbeat one. I have a, I have a chick singing on this one, it's pretty dope, dog. This one's gonna be on your album? Yeah, all three of these, all three of these will be on my album. Um, this one's pretty hard, I hear. I like this one. I wonder if you see if I can remember the hood. It's your boy Blaze. I'm here with Beat for Brewing. Much love for putting me on. Yo, you, I'm a videographer, beat maker here out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Just trying to get my, you know, my shine on and whatnot. Um, so if you want to follow me and what I do, hit me up on uh, G Life TV, Instagram, Facebook. I'm all over the place, y'all. Hey, hey. Wake up in the morning and I got my beats brewing. Beats brewing. Need my beats brewing. Hashtag Beats for Brewing.